Telling a great idea to a program is one thing. How that program is received by our users, well, that's a different story. You can create as many programs as you want, but if they don't have user interfaces, how many users are you going to ship that product to, really? Which is where this course comes in. My name is Samuel Mtembo, and I'll be your instructor for this series. I've been programming for the last five years, working in fields like web development, data science, desktop, and mobile development. I started working with Kiwi two years ago, and it's been my go-to GUI framework ever since. So Kiwi is an NUI development framework for Python developers, which allows you to create awesome GUIs. And in this series, we're going to cover everything you need to know to create any GUI you set your mind on. We'll cover how to create widgets such as buttons, dropdowns, text inputs, checkboxes, and much more. Not only will we cover all the built-in Kiwi widgets, We'll also explore ways of creating our very own custom widgets through Kiwi Inheritance. To cover all of this stuff, we're going to create three real-world programs for your desktop, namely a simple calculator which can perform basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square rooting, and much more. We'll also create a photo gallery application that lets you view either a single image on your disk or a whole folder of images. The program also allows you to perform basic image operations on individual images like rotation, flipping, and some effects like mirroring and burning an image. Finally, we'll create a video player program which can essentially play most common file types like MP4, FLV, MKV, AVI, and more. Just like the photo gallery app, you can choose to open either a single file or a folder which will automatically create a playlist for you. Now that you're convinced of some of the things that Kiwi can do, sign up for the course and let's get started.